Beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ali, is indeed our role model. He is someone we must look up to. And Allah Ta'ala taught us in Quran. لَكَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ He said indeed, in the Holy Prophet, there are good examples for us to follow. But then the ayah says, for those who believe in Allah and believe on the day of Qiyamah. Prophet taught us everything before he left this world. Business is of great importance. And we have traditions of the holy prophets on the barakah and the importance of having one's own business. Our beloved prophets traded and ran business with the wealth of his beloved wife, Khadija. What are the ethics of business as per the teachings of Islam? How do we go about running our own businesses to ensure that there is Allah's blessings in our business? Number one, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, is for your business to be lawful. Lawful in the sight of Allah and lawful according to the laws of our country is of great importance to do lawful business. One cannot say, I'm going to abide by the law of Allah and I'm going to stand against the law of my country. By standing against the law of your country, you are violating the law of Allah because Allah expects us to follow order. That's number one. Number two, my dear brothers and sisters, is not to cheat or rig in your business. We do have traditions of the Prophet on this. Whoever rig in his or her own business in terms of the figures, in terms of numbers, Allah will deprive him of the blessings in that business. That is a very, very important. Number three, etiquette of running business is what? Those who work for you, make sure that you pay them before their sweat dries. What does it mean? It simply means, number one, you do not underpay them. You've got some Muslims out there who underpay people. It is not acceptable as per the teachings of our beloved prophet to underpay people. And the other part of that is that don't let month comes to an end and people keep waiting for their payment. If for whatever reason you do not have the payment, reach out to the people, speak to them. Otherwise, making them wait without knowing what is happening, it is not acceptable in Islam as per the traditions of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. The next etiquette is do not lie when running your business. Prophet said whoever lies while running his business, he will be deprived of the blessings of that business. Don't lie. In the last but not least, be careful not to swear when you run your business. Check your tongue and check your language. There are people in business, they said, what lie? I swear by God. Avoid those things when running your business. Just be genuine and Allah will bless you in your business. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.